Well, you just can't beat the anticipation, the expectation, the spine-tingling atmosphere generated by a big Derby fixture. We've got two in four days here at Villa Park. First up, West Bromwich Albion. We've enjoyed some terrific wins here against them over the years, a 4-3 success. And then last season, uh, two wins in the space of a week in League and Cup under Tim Sherwood. Froggy, does that record count in this? Can that give Villa the psychological edge? No. Derby day is a derby day. It, it's about, it's, it's more than just a game, Jack. It's physical will mm. in most of it. First 20 minutes, they're so gutsy, blood and thunder, tackles are flying in, the, you know, the intensity of the game normally, that it's very difficult to breathe as a player. But it's during that period where you, you fight for the right to win possession of the ball. And the team who gets possession of the ball early on in the game then starts playing, then tends to, you know, m may go on to win the game. But there's so much hype surrounding these games that it's the players who can keep the call. Cool. Maybe the foreign boys actually in our team are better suited to it because mm. then, you know, they won't be used to this sort of derby atmosphere or being involved in a game like this. So they, they, it might be, they might enjoy it. How can they feed off the atmosphere, the, the special derby day experience, if you like? As a player, Jack, how can you not? Right. I've always said this, you know, I've been played in lots of derby games in my career. If you can't get yourself up for a derby game, you should not be a footballer because <laughs> these are the games you dream of. These are the games that as a player, you, you're awake the night before dreaming you're scoring the winning goal and you're going to be the hero the next day. That's a derby. That's what it means to everybody because as you go into the ground on the bus or in your car and you see the look on the fans' faces, everyone's excited, the anticipation. It, they're enormous games, Jack. And they're so important to the fans as well. Mm. Fascinating confrontations all, all over the pitch, aren't they, in this one? I think so, yeah. I mean, you, you look at key battles this weekend and you look at Tony's team. I mean, obviously, there probably there could well be changes because I do think he might bring Berahino in, into a starting position mm. this weekend because they, 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 they don't look like scoring now at the moment. He's the one player that is capable of scoring goals, so don't be surprised if he comes back in. If McManaman starts on the right-hand side, which I think he will, that, for me, that'll be the battle. Amavi versus him. You know, two, two, two talented players going head-to-head -head against each other. I think that could be the difference between who wins the game. But energy, key word this week, Jack. Middle of the park, I think they lack it. Mm. With Fletcher and Jakob, I don't think they've got enough pace or energy in, in the middle of the park. Both decent players, don't get me wrong. Obviously, Fletcher's massively experienced, but I don't look at them and think, with, our, with, with the youth and the energy we have in the team, that we can't get in amongst them. If we win that midfield battle we could go and win the game. And we need, we need to start picking up results. I mean, we all, we're yeah. all aware the quality of the football we're seeing is miles better than, than it was last year. We're scoring goals, we're creating chances, we've got flair in the team, we've got, other play, you know, we, we've got more players to, to choose from, quality players, than we've had for quite some time. We just need a result. Yeah, do you have a good feeling about it? Or, uh... Uh, Derby, do you know, it's funny, Jack, Derby days, I... I it's a, fl it's, it's a coin. Can't flip. predict them. And you yeah. can't, you know, you can't because you, you can go into some games and go, yeah, we, we'll do okay this game. And you've just said about the results we've had in the past, I think count for absolutely nothing. Mm. A, because we've got a vastly different team now. You look at all the players we've yeah. got on the team, it's a whole new experience for some of our boys. So it's one of those ones, you get a coin out of your pocket, flick it up. Traditionally, there are very few goals in it. Although we've had one or two, you know, corkers mm. here at Villa Park in, in recent years, but traditionally there's not a lot in it. And, I, and you've got to look at how Albion are. They, they are not scoring goals, but they're not conceding any. No. So you, you can't really see anything other than a very tight game and a counter-attacking goal from somebody. And blues on the horizon. So it's, uh, it's not going to be dull, is it? No, I mean, and that's, that's, again, it's difficult. I mean, having, you know, playing in, knowing as a player how tough the derbies are because as a player you get excited you're waiting all week mm. to get into the game you don't sleep the night before you, you keep yourself awake then the game comes you're burning nervous energy all the time so when the game's done the come down from that game is so enormous mm. compared to any other game and then you've got to do it all over again three days later in a, in a, you know with your other big rival so the gaffer's got a big task on his hands mm. to try and get two positive results from these games and keep the players energized but i guess you know, that, that's the joy of him having a bigger squad now, mm. is that he will have to swap it around. He, he'll realise he'll need some fresh legs uh, for, for the game against Birmingham City after this game. Thanks for now, Froggy. Much more analysis over on AVTV. Tony Morley alongside me for commentary on Saturday afternoon. Bring it on.